It's time for Around the Ozarks in 5. Here are your hosts, Ethan and Sarah Foreheads. Howdy, howdy. Good morning on a Monday. I hope you're going to have a great week. Let's get started. Uh, Do a little news, Sarah. All right. Today was supposed to be the first day of sales for recreational marijuana in the state, uh, but they actually started Friday because the state health department unexpectedly started issuing dispensary permits early. Uh, Voters approved changing the state's constitution to legalize the purchase, possession, consumption, delivery, sale, and manufacturing of marijuana for adults 21 and older for personal use. Uh, Missouri is the 21st state to allow recreational pot. A worker at an O'Reilly Auto Parts in Springfield was injured during a robbery. It happened yesterday afternoon when two men walked in, grabbed some merchandise, and tried to walk out without paying. The employees tried to stop him, and one was beaten and now has minor injuries. Hmm. Uh, The Greene County Sheriff's Department uh, ousted homeless people from another camp on private property. That happening in West Springfield. While clearing out that property, deputies also checked on four other private properties where they recently uh, cleared trespassers who had set up illegal encampments. The city of Highlandville no longer has a police force. Uh, The mayor has dissolved it. This comes after the town's two officers resigned in January. The other uh, was under investigation for improper handling of a domestic case. Uh, Christian County has been investigating accusations of wrongdoing in that case, and apparently they've come to a conclusion. Uh, They haven't made that public yet. Uh, But now that uh, there's no department in Highland, no police, uh, that uh, 911 calls are going to Christian County. They will be handling all those 911 calls. So they'll be answered, just not by Highland. And tonight, Springfield City Council will discuss a plan for the city to purchase Hammonds Field for $12 million. That deal, of course, also requires the city to make at least $4 million in renovations and improvements to the minor league baseball park. The Planning and Zoning Commission will make a ruling on the plan. Then the entire city council will vote on it. That may all happen tonight. Uh, They'll also have to approve a lease to keep the Springfield Cardinals in Springfield at Hammonds Field. For the next 15 years. Hmm. That'll be interesting. Uh, Some lawmakers in Jeff City want to phase out Missouri's corporate income tax. It would reduce the tax by 1% until it gets to zero. Uh, Currently, it's at 4%. Supporters say it would attract new businesses to the state, but opponents say Missouri's rate is already lower than neighboring states, uh, so they say this wouldn't be much more incentive. Uh, The Nixa community has been waiting for a long time, but now the city's Performing Arts Center is opening. The 1,000-seat venue was delayed because of supply chain issues during COVID, uh, but they opened over the weekend with a price tag of $14 million. Yeah, I saw a video of that. It's a really nice venue, for, uh, especially for high school kids, so good for them. Looks nice. Yeah, that's exciting. I have not seen it yet, so I got to check out the video. Uh, Springfield is getting a new cookie store. It is called Crumble Cookie. It's a chain. I feel like a lot of people know about it already, but it is coming to Springfield's north side, um, right there by the Walmart at Kearney and Glenstone. Uh, C- Crumble Cookie has 700 stores across 47 states. Uh, they feature more than 200 types of cookies. That's weird. I've never even heard of it. It's got, uh, that's a lot of stores across a lot of states. I know there's one in Joplin, uh, but I didn't, uh, I've never been to one, never even heard of it. Have you? I have heard of it because uh, when the kids play soccer in Kansas City, a lot of the moms go to it. Now, mm-hmm. while in Rome, you're supposed to do as the Romans do, but um, I was recalling that I have been to a crumble cookie but I ordered ice cream. I know. I know. It was one of the days where I was It's like, not crumble ice cream. It's like it when was you go to the waffle 500 house. 500 degrees outside. I was actually at a swim meet, not a soccer a game. Pancake. And it's 500 degrees inside at a swim meet. And so, yeah, I know. Disappointing. I know. So I haven't actually had a crumble cookie, but I have been there before and had ice cream. So All go right. figure. Okay. Um, Well, this is fun. Some of the best bowlers in the world are competing in Springfield this week. 
That's exciting. I love bowling. I used to like to watch it on TV. Uh, a new tournament, which is the PBA Springfield Classic, will take place at Enterprise Park Lanes tomorrow through Saturday. Uh, local pro bowler Kevin Williams will be competing in the inaugural event. You know, it's funny. I uh, I bowled recently when I was in Colorado for that thing. Uh, I uh, we we bowled one night, and uh, how was that? I mean, I was. I was terrible. It's weird how difficult bowling is because it's just a, a set of pins. They're not moving or anything. And I have a ball and all I have to do is knock them down. But I, it's, uh, it's, it's elusive. It's, it's, it evades me. Yeah. The, not very good. um, I am hit or miss. Like I, it's been a while since I've been bowling, but there have been times where I've been like on a streak. Um, and then times where I can't hit a single pin, very inconsistent. Yeah, I can hit a single pin, but most of the time that's about it. <laughs> uh, let's look at the weather for, uh, for your week today. It's going to be the nicest of the week. It looks like high of 61, which is nice and warm, uh, rain tomorrow, likely 48 for the high, uh, then maybe some storms on Wednesday. Uh, and then we're going to get to 53 on Thursday, 39 on Friday. It cools down a bit, 49 on Saturday. So, you know, it's not a freezing cold week and uh, no snow. So, or no, no real snow, maybe some flurries. Uh, okay. Uh, if you're planning to travel, this is, this is really interesting. Uh, <clears throat> if you want to make it the summer of travel, Frontier Airlines now has an all-you-can-fly summer pass. Uh, it allows travel between Frontier's U.S. and international destinations from May 2nd through September 30th. The introductory price is $399. There are a limited Let's just number call of it those. 400. Uh, there are a limited number of those, and I don't know how limited, maybe two. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure. Uh, the regular price is uh, $1,000. Uh, so I don't know. Unfortunately, Frontier doesn't have any plans to fly in and out of Branson this year. So that uh, that makes it a little more difficult for us. Our closest choices uh, in the Springfield area, Bentonville, Kansas City, Little Rock, St. Louis, they all have Frontier destinations. Uh, but unfortunately, Br Branson does not this year. So hmm. I don't know. I, I'm sure here's the problem. I, I'm sure the stipulations are crazy on when you can fly and how you no, it fly. says May 2nd through September 30th. There's all kinds of finer print that I didn't put in the story. Uh, there are stipulations. So I don't know. I'd like to talk to somebody who actually did it for a summer to see where they went, whether where yeah. it was worth it. Do you have to go day of and just show up if there's an empty seat or can you plan it? You know? Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, if I were like a teacher, say. Maybe you could do that. Maybe you could show up day of, you know, like if you Summer's know you're off. off. Yeah. For the summer. I don't know. It would be. Yeah. I'm with you. It would be fun to talk to someone after the fact and see if they enjoyed it. Yep. All, all right. right. That's all we got. We're waiting for a camera to die. So we got to uh, get off the air here before the battery goes bad. <laughs> um, and by we, it's Ethan's camera. It is my just camera. for the record. Yeah. We charged it, but I don't know what happened. But anyway, it's certainly not operator error. I can assure you of that. <laughs> it is yeah, Monday, though. For sure. I mean, that goes without saying. It is um, Monday. All though. right. Well, happy Monday, everybody. Yep. Have a great day, and we will see you right back here tomorrow morning. See you. Bye.